guys, this is Ashley from Pisces, and today we're going to be going over the care for the mimosa pudica plant, also known as the sensitive plant, or the shame plant. So you're probably wondering why it's called the sensitive plant. Surprise, it is sensitive. Every time you touch it, it closes. It does utilize a lot of its energy every time you touch it, so just be mindful not to touch it too much, otherwise it won't do so well. So in terms of light, they do like it really bright. Even if you can put them in a window where you get a few hours of direct sunlight in the morning, otherwise the south facing window will be perfectly fine. For watering they do like the soil to be moist during growing season so if you can allow the soil to not dry out but allow a well draining soil something with perlite or peat moss just so the roots aren't prone to any rotting. During the winter months you do want the soil to dry out between waterings and water less often. You do want to fertilize once during growing season otherwise you could use more of a diluted fertilizer and fertilize once every few weeks. For humidity these plants do like it quite high. You could miss the plant or a handy little trick is filling your saucer up with rocks and filling it up with water so that way the water just evaporates and creates humidity around the plant and you simply refill it. If you want your sensitive plant to look fuller if it's starting to grow tall and leggy you can prune it by cutting at the nodes of the plant and that will basically encourage it to get bushier or you could take those trimmings and root them in water and simply plant them in the dirt and they'll grow. Generally this plant is pretty good for pests but it can be prone to spider mites. Spider mites are just a tiny little microscopic mite. It kind of looks like dust on the leaves when you take a close look. Usually when the infestation is bad, they actually start to make webs on the plant and that's when people start to notice the infestation. You can use general insecticidal soaps to get rid of it. Usually it takes up to three treatments and you're good. Or you could use some diluted neem oil and water and treat the plant that way. All right, so that pretty much sums up the care for the mimosa plants. All of the plants we carry are grown here in store. If you guys have any questions contact us online or here in the store or feel free to give us a call